Hi guys, welcome to another video on the Superb Krill channel. My name is Thomas, I'm a nutritionist and marketing manager here at Acker Biomarine, working with Superb Krill. By now you probably have seen some of our other videos about krill oil, what is krill oil, some of the health benefits. So this video today we're going to take you through a little bit more information about maybe how much krill oil you should be taking uh, on a daily basis. Uh, it can vary for different people, uh, for different reasons, so uh, hopefully this video can provide some clarification on that for you guys. So it's great to know that you're interested in krill oil or perhaps you've even been taking krill oil. You actually have a product at home and you've been taking it for some time. Supplements like krill oil can be a great way to ensure that you're getting enough nutrients in your diet. It can be difficult sometimes to get enough nutrition or maybe we don't know how much nutrients we're getting. So supplements can be a great way to ensure that we're getting enough. Some of the most common nutrients that we tend not to get enough of, vitamin D, it's a very well known one. Most people are familiar with vitamin D. Also vitamin B12 can be important to make sure that you're getting it in a supplement. Uh, and of course, omega-3s and choline, both of which are found in krill oil. So krill oil is a natural combination of omega-3 and choline. It's a multi-nutrient supplement. Uh, and those omega-3s and choline are held together in a phospholipid molecule or a phospholipid form, which has different implications in your body based on where those omega-3s go, uh, to your organs, to your brain, for example, and sort of to your extremities, um, and ensures that you're getting the right health benefits. So krill oil can be a great way to supplement omega-3s and choline in your diet. And now we come to, of course, the most important question, how much krill oil should you be taking on a daily basis? So the World Health Organization recommends that we eat one to two servings of oily fish a week. This is enough to ensure that we're getting 250 milligrams to 500 milligrams of omega-3s, specifically EPA and DHA, from the food uh, on a daily basis. So the 250 to 500 milligrams is a good range to stick to. When it comes to supplementation, two small capsules of krill oil will satisfy 250 milligrams of EPA DHA, especially if they're small capsules, they're usually coming around 500 milligrams, but you can also find larger krill oil capsules of up to 1000 milligrams or one gram of krill oil, which will, which will also cover those 250 to 500 milligrams as well. This can of course depend on the brand and the krill oil quality. If you're interested in how to find a good quality krill oil, I recommend that you check out one of our other videos where we, where we go through some of the signs to look for to find a good quality krill oil product. So this level of 250 milligrams of EPA and DHA omega-3s is a good target to aim for, and this will, this will be well suited for the majority of people. So one to two capsules of krill oil. There are of course some instances and some situations where you might want to consider taking uh, a little bit more. These are generally categorized into two areas. One, if you are not eating any fish at all, of course, if you're not eating any fish at all, uh, you're highly unlikely going to be able to get uh, EPA and DHA in your diet since EPA and DHA omega-3s are only found in marine sources. So if you're not eating fish, I would recommend that maybe you up your intake to maybe two to four capsules a day. So other instances where you might want to consider taking more krill oil can be if you have some health issues or some health concerns, typically surrounding maybe heart health or, or other areas. So the British Heart Foundation and the American Heart Association both recommend that those with uh, existing heart conditions or those who are concerned for their heart health uh, should take more omega-3s uh, from their diet or supplementation. Uh, this can be up to 500 milligrams to maybe even up to 1000 milligrams of EPA DHA. So in these instances, you might want to consider taking a little bit more. Of course, you should always read the label and check the back of pack for the amount of EPA DHA that you're getting in the product. And you can, of course, always consult your physician for their advice if you're unsure about how much you should be taking. So I hope this short video gave you some more insight into how much krill oil you should be taking uh, on a daily basis. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave them below. Like the video and, of course, subscribe for more content on krill oil and krill oil health benefits. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.